Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the seventh annual Peter Benchley Ocean Awards. It's the Peter Benchley Ocean Awards, otherwise known as the Academy Awards of the Oceans. The Benchley Awards are unique in acknowledging outstanding achievement across a wide range of marine categories, including national leadership, science, policy, media, youth, exploration, and citizen activism. Peter Benchley and the attention that he brought to our oceans, he, he really delivered uh, the concern about our oceans to the common. But I'm especially uh, proud of this award because it really focuses on people that are making an impact. It means so much just the recognition and being able to network all these other amazing people and getting their advice and just learning from them. There are a lot of friends and colleagues in this audience who have all been a part of the fight for our oceans. Not only do we know what the solutions are, but we're among some of the best problem solvers right here tonight. Winners and past winners of the Benchley Awards and so many of you from different walks or maybe paddles of life. This is without question a time of crisis in terms of our oceans. All of us are here because we're concerned about the problems that our oceans are facing on development, on pollution, on our fisheries, uh, the whole issue of climate change and the chemical uh, changes that are taking place in the ocean. I call plastic the lubricant of globalization. It wraps everything shipped from cheap labor markets to centers of consumption. This packaging has no recycling infrastructure and becomes what is known as fast track trash. It blows and washes into the sea, the beautiful sea, which is downhill from everywhere. I think to reverse the troubling trends that we see in the sea, we have to increase the pace at which we actually spread solutions. To make a difference, you have to become the difference and not just be a small wave of change in the world. You have to be a tidal wave and just flood the world with this change. Even though it is tough right now, the reality is we have to come together because the oceans are not just something we should protect because it's a great natural resource, because it's beautiful. We have to protect the oceans because it is important to life itself. The blue planet where we will always live, all of us, it reminds us daily of the desperate need for a global political and economic reversal, the first and most inevitable in human history. Heroes will make it happen. We have to continue the fight at every level in every area, whether you're in nonprofits, whether you're in media, whether you're in education, whether you're involved in the sciences, we have to continue the fight to make sure that we protect our oceans. Let's work together to find solutions that grow faster than the problems.